A nuclear power plant is a thermal power station that employs a nuclear reactor to create a heat source. This heat generates steam to drive the turbines, which in turn produces electricity in massive amounts. As of 2022, there are 440 nuclear power plants operating across 33 countries and territories around the Earth. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the top 15 largest nuclear facilities in the world. Number 15. The Yangjiang Nuclear Power Station All right, kicking off this list is the Yangjiang Nuclear Power Station, located in the Guangdong province of China. This power station is one of the newer facilities in the world, having begun operations in just 2014. But its history runs a little deeper, with the Yangjiang site being chosen for development all the way back in 1988. The station has six 1,000-megawatt CPR-1000 pressurized water reactors and is the biggest nuclear power plant in all of China, with a net capacity of 4,000 meters of water equivalent. It's also the first construction of an ACPR-1000 reactor and is the next phase of the third generation of CPR-1000s, which includes a core catcher and double containment as additional safety measures, because the last thing anyone wants in a nuclear facility is a health and safety hazard. The power station is also the first nuclear facility in China to have a domestically developed digital control system. So needless to say, the Yangjiang nuclear power station is one of the most significant pieces of infrastructure within mainland China. But not only is it the largest in the country, but as of 2019, the station is the fourth largest nuclear power plant in the world. Number 14. Ningde Nuclear Power Plant The Ningde Nuclear Power Plant is a nuclear facility in the Fujian province of China in the Beiwan village. The plant is an exceptionally large one, with six 1,080-megawatt CPR-1000 pressurized water reactors, earning approval from the National Development and Reform Commission in 2007, and first began its operations in 2013, after costing about $7.6 billion. The Ningde Nuclear Power Plant marks an incredibly important step in the development of China's domestic nuclear industry, with 80% of the facility having been built by local companies as well. The facility holds four separate reactors with another five already in the works as part of the Phase II expansion. With the inclusion of this plant, China will have the third largest number of nuclear power generating units in operation as of 2020, just behind the United States and France. It took a full 168 hours worth of test runs before this plant was finally up and running and has an installed capacity of 2100 megawatts. Number 13. The Qinshan Nuclear Power Station the Qinshan Nuclear Power Station is built in Haiyan County of the Zhejiang Province in mainland China and is the nation's first power plant, with its first unit of Phase 1 becoming operational in 1992. Qinshan is owned by the China National Nuclear Corporation and includes a whopping seven operating units to keep things nice and hot as it provides power to the region. The facility's operation units were built in three separate phases, with an additional extension coming along in Phase 2 in 2006. The commercial operations of the first two phases ushered China into the nuclear age, making it the seventh country in the world to have its own nuclear power station. But the history of the Qinshan nuclear power station reaches a bit further back, with the plans commencing in 1985. It was almost completely designed and constructed in China and by China, with only 5% of the components being built outside of the mainland. It's currently the second largest of its kind in China and the eighth largest in all of Asia, with a gross installed capacity of 4,300 megawatts. Xinjiang Nuclear Power Station is a big one and costs $2.8 billion to complete. It's also got a lifespan of about 40 years, meaning it's already made it roughly a third of its lifespan. Number 12. Hongyanhe Nuclear Power Plant all right, we're still in China, and we're going to head over to the Liaoning province. We've got the Hongyanghe Nuclear Power Plant. The first unit of this nuclear facility was connected to the grid at the start of 2013, and was officially commissioned later that same year. This power plant was a joint venture between three Chinese nuclear and power companies, and consisted of six units built across two phases. Construction one of the phase began in the summer of 2007, and phase two began three years later almost to the day. When all was said and done, the first phase construction alone costed $8.2 billion, and by the time phase two was completed, another $4 billion was tacked on. But the first phase of this power plant generated roughly 30 billion kilowatts an hour of electricity per year, and with phase two, that number was kicked up to 45 billion. This nuclear power plant consists of six CPR-1000 pressurized water reactors with a three-loop PWR with double containment and a core catcher, each rated at over 1,000 megawatts. 
And while all of that is impressive in its own right, this nuclear power plant's real claim to fame is that it's the first power plant in China to use seawater desalination technology for providing coolant water, with the ultra-filtration modules treating 26,000 cubic meters of water per day. Number 11. Fukushima Daini II Nuclear Power Plant while most people associate the Fukushima Prefecture of Japan with the 2011 earthquake and tsunami disaster, there is a sister power plant that many don't know about. One of the largest of its kind in the world and the sixth largest in Asia, the Fukushima Daini II nuclear power plant is run by the Tokyo Electric Power Company. When it was fully operational, the Fukushima Daini II nuclear power plant had four operational boiling water reactors with a net electric output of about 1,000 megawatts each. And although she managed to stave off total destruction in 2011, the catastrophic and deadly tsunami did cause all four of these reactors to shut down automatically. But they were successfully revived shortly after. But disaster managed to strike again just five years later, and an earthquake caused a system failure within the cooling systems for about a hundred minutes. Although the Fukushima Daini II nuclear power plant had certainly been through a lot in its day and maintained its resilience, the Tokyo Electric Power Company's board of directors decided it had become too dangerous to continue operations, especially after seeing the devastation caused by her sister station, and so the plant was scheduled to be decommissioned in 2019. However, it's far more complicated than just hitting the off switch and walking away. It will take more than four decades to complete and will include the moving of spent nuclear fuel to the on-site dry cask storage. Number 10. The Wuxiong Nuclear Power Plant The Wuxiong Nuclear Power Plant, or just Wulsong, is located just on the coast of Gyeongju in South Korea. The only nuclear power plant of her kind in the country, it operated with a Kandu-type pressurized heavy water reactor and is owned by Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power. Unlike some of the other facilities in this world, Wulsong is fully capable of consuming multiple types of fuel, including the waste from other nuclear power plants in the country, making it an incredibly important addition. And while it is seriously state-of-the-art, construction of Wulsong began in 1976 and it was completed in 1982, and it began operations just one year later. Wulsong's first reactor has a capacity of 678 megawatts, with her remaining three each having a capacity of about 700 megawatts, and together they supply the country with about 5% of its electricity. Because of its age, Wulsong has undergone plenty of maintenance over the years, with the first reactor being shut down in 2013, while it awaited new safety-related control cabling, and opening once again less than a year later. Wulsong's second reactor loaded up its first core of nuclear fuel the same year, and the plant was officially connected to the grid in February of 2015, and began commercial operation that same year. Number 9. Ketnom Nuclear Power Plant Located in Grand Est in the Catanon Commune just outside of Luxembourg, France, is the Catanon Nuclear Power Plant. The plant is owned and operated by EDA, one of the biggest utility and power companies in the world, and it's the 12th largest nuclear power station in the world, consisting of four pressurized water reactors, all of which were built between 1979 and 1991, and they crank out about 1,300 megawatts apiece. Despite laying the foundation at the end of 1970, the Kettenham nuclear power plant is considered modern and even in 2006 produced the third most electricity of all the nuclear power plants in France, just behind the Graveline and Paulel power plants with an output of 34 terawatt hours. This power plant uses four separate cooling towers, which use a whopping 890 million cubic meters of water from the nearby Moselle River year after year. On top of this river, though, the facility has its own on-site water reserve, the man-made Lake Mergenbach. But with age often comes experience, and the Katanam nuclear power plant isn't immune to dangerous events, many of which involved radiation exposure to a handful of the 1,200 employees and even the occasional power transformer fire. Number 8. Paluel Nuclear Power Plant Owned and operated by the French company EDF, the Paluel nuclear power plant is one of the largest in France and it's located in Normandy. This nuclear facility consists of four 1300 megawatt class pressurized water reactors and is so large that it uses the waters of the English Channel to keep it cool. Paluel has an installed total output of 5.5 gigawatts, which gives it the seventh highest output in the world. On average, Paluel is giving about 32 billion kilowatt hours of electricity to the public grid annually. Construction of this nuclear French behemoth began in 1977, and the first power from the reactor was finally achieved in 1984, with subsequent trial runs going for the next year. 
By 1985, Palo Alto was fully up and running. This pressurized water reactor features 193 fuel assemblies in the core of the reactor and uses 12 safety control rods to control the fission rate. This power plant has had a long run, meaning like so many others on this list, she isn't exempt from the occasional mishap. In the past, there have been problems mainly with the cooling of the plant due to the seasonal blockage of the English Channel, which can cause an automatic reactor trip. In 2016, a 450-ton steam generator crashed on Palo Alto's reactor floor during its 10-year maintenance check, which caused an outage until 2018. Number 7. Gravelines Nuclear Power Station Located in Nord, France, the Gravelines Nuclear Power Station sits in the commune of the same name just 12 miles outside of Dunkirk. It's the seventh largest nuclear power station in the world, and the largest in all of Western Europe, and gets its cooling waters from the North Sea. Gravelines is made up of six nuclear reactors of about 900 megawatts each, and in 2017 the facility produced nearly 32 terawatt hours of electric energy to supply 6% of the country's electricity, more than any other plant in the region. Two of the reactors began servicing France in 1980, with two more following suit in 1981, and the final two coming online in 1985. And by 2010, it became the second nuclear station in the world to produce over 1,000 terawatt hours of electricity. Oddly enough, two Gravelines' final two reactors were initially built to be exported to Iran, but due to the region's political turmoil in 1979, the deal was scrapped, and they remain ignored to this day. But Gravelines has left quite a legacy behind as the final two reactors' design was used as the basis for the Chinese CPR-1000, which is employed in all of China's modern nuclear facilities. Number 6. Zaporizhia Nuclear Power Plant The Zaporizhia Nuclear Power Station in southeastern Ukraine is the largest nuclear power plant in Europe and is one of the ten largest in the world. Built by the Soviet Union outside the city of Ernhodar, the Ukrainian power plant is operated by Energotam, which also owns and operates the country's remaining three power plants. Zaporizhia has six VVER-1000 pressurized light water nuclear reactors, each of which is fueled by uranium and generates a heft of about 950 megawatts, for a total power output of about 5,700 megawatts. The first five of these Ukrainian reactors were brought online over the course of four years, from 1985 to 1989, with the final one joining the nuclear family in 1995. This plant is easily the most important of its kind in the country, not only providing Ukraine with almost half of its nuclear powered electricity, but more than a fifth of the total electricity. Because it's been around for over 30 years, the power plant underwent modernization in 2017 and extended its life for another 10 years, with an expiration date of 2027. Sadly, though, the facility has become the victim of the region's political unrest over the years, and most recently in 2022, it was captured during the Battle of Ehrenhodar and is now under foreign control. Number 5. Hanbit Nuclear Power Plant The Hanbit Nuclear Power Plant has the honor of being the fifth largest of its kind in the world, with an installed capacity of 5,800 megawatts, and can be found in South Korea. Each unit of Hanbit is a pressurized water reactor, with units 1 and 2 being three-loop Westinghouse-designed power plants, with major components having been sourced from foreign firms, while all auxiliary components as well as the site construction have been done domestically. Unit 3 and 4 of Hanbit are both two-loop combustion engineering system 80 plants, with major components having been made in South Korea as well. This is another older facility, having begun operations of its first unit in 1986 and finally opening the final unit at the end of 2022, with each unit offering between 947 and 997 megawatts at a time. In 2012, the Hanbit facility underwent a security checkup prompted by the Fukushima disaster, and crews found that as far back as 2003, eight of Hanbit's suppliers had been forging quality certificates for 7,600 of the items delivered to the plant, because of the lower quality, they found that a third of the plant's reactors were affected by 5,000 of those shoddy parts and so were immediately shut down for two months. Another incident happened in 2019 during a low power test where the facility wasn't allowed to exceed 5% of its full power output. But due to a miscalculation during the withdrawal of control rods, one rod found itself stuck in position, causing Henbit's power to reach a potentially dangerous 18%. Number 4. Hanul Nuclear Power Plant All right, staying in South Korea, we have the Hanul Nuclear Power Plant. This facility has six pressurized water reactors, each with an output of between 968 and 998 megawatts, for a total capacity of 5,928. 
The first of these reactors went online in 1988, with the final becoming operational in September of 2005. By the turn of the century, the Hanul nuclear power plant was the third largest operational plant in the world and the second largest in Korea. But despite all of that output and being one of the biggest and the best in the world, the company behind this plant figured they could go even bigger. And so on May 4, 2012, the ground was broken for two more new APR-1400 reactors. Fuel loading for the new APRs was completed in the fall of 2021, and by 2022 it achieved its first criticality, with electricity generation expected to start within 30 days. The new and improved APR-1400 is a third-generation pressurized water reactor with a gross capacity of 1400 megawatts, and the Honal nuclear facility is the first completely Korean-made plant. But a project on this scale is incredibly expensive and has already cost about $6 billion US to build. It is a pretty amazing nuclear power plant that's nearly 30 years old in the making, but it's proven time and time again that it was worth the wait. Number 3. Kori Nuclear Power Plant The Kori Nuclear Power Plant in South Korea is at the top of plenty of nuclear-related lists, but it stands amongst the rest by being the second largest nuclear power plant in the world and the tenth largest power-producing facility anywhere since 2016 and doesn't show any signs of being dethroned anytime soon. Owned and operated by Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power, the first of Kori's seven reactors began commercial operation in 1978 and was finally decommissioned in 2017. Units 2, 3, and 4 all began their commercial operations in the 1980s, and all of Kori's reactors are pressurized water reactors. This power plant has undergone a fair amount of work during its illustrious career, like the 2006 expansion plan which added four new reactors, all of which were sourced locally from South Korea. These were referred to as Shin Reactors or New Reactors. The first pair of these Shin Reactors have an OPR-1000 design, while the second pair are APR-1400 designs. The first set of Shin Reactors achieved commercial operation in 2011 and 2012 respectively, and the final pairing came to fruition in 2016 and then 2019. Construction on another two APR-1400 reactors known as Shin Kori-5 and Shin Kori-6 began in 2017. The Kori facility is the oldest nuclear power plant in Korea, and Unit 1 has already been scheduled for decommissioning, which is set to take 15 years and about $570 million to complete. Number 2. Bruce Nuclear Generating Station the Bruce Nuclear Generating Station is a nuclear power station on the eastern shore of Lake Huron in Ontario, Canada, and sits on about 2,300 acres of land. With eight can-do pressurized heavy water reactors, Bruce Nuclear was one of the largest nuclear power plants in operation until it was dethroned in 2016 by South Korea's Kori Nuclear Power Plant. For now, it sits at the number two spot, but the odds of it ever being surpassed a second time seem incredibly slim. In fact, Bruce is so large that it's the largest employer of its local municipality, Bruce County, providing 4,000 jobs to the locals. The facility's history begins in 1971, when the first stage of construction began and finally began operations in 1985. All eight of Bruce's reactors are arranged into two plants with four reactors each, and each one of them stands within a reinforced concrete containment. The steam generators stand 40 feet tall and weigh as much as 100 tons each. Each one of Bruce's plants use three fueling machines shared between the four reactors, and all travel in a duct cut below solid rock beneath them. Each reactor also has its own turbine generator, set with one high-pressure turbine and three low-pressure turbines, all driving one generator and cooling water is taken from Lake Huron. All in all, the Canadian facility cost nearly $8 billion to build and has an install capacity of 6,550 megawatts. Number 1. The Kashiwazaki Kariwa Nuclear Power Plant While it's not currently operational, the honor of being the largest nuclear power plant ever built has been bestowed upon the Kashiwazaki Kariwa Nuclear Power Plant. And not only that, but it was also one of the largest power-producing facilities of any kind. This plant was built in 1985 and is home to the world's first advanced boiling water reactor. The campus sits on a thousand acre site on the coast of the Sea of Japan, which is used as its cooling system. This plant has seven reactors, which were spread across the campus coastline that gave the facility an installed capacity of 7,965 megawatts, with each of the seven reactors running on low enriched uranium. This plant offered Japan many economic opportunities, but in 2007 it was just 12 miles from the epicenter of the Chuetsu offshore earthquake. The event was so bad that it shook the plants far beyond the limits of their design and initiated an extended shutdown for the next two years. 
Four of the seven reactors resumed operations, and they even managed to avoid damage from the 2011 earthquake. But by May of 2022, all four of the remaining units were idled, and the plant is just one of 44 nuclear power plants in Japan to be rendered inactive. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.